Welcome back to Edge of the Wolf Time. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying Old School Week. Um, I sure am. I am loving your video responses. Some amazingly old stuff out there. And some of it is just... I mean, some of it I didn't even know existed. And I know quite a lot. So yeah, today's episode, there's going to be no Kamasai Eric fun fact today. Uh, that's because I've got quite a bit to get through and I'm probably going to run out of my time limit. So today, on the episode, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be continuing the theme of Old School Week by looking at some old school Necrons, oh yeah! And also, some new stuff. <laughs> new stuff! New stuff! New stuff! New stuff! Yeah! Oh, and by the way, Ghost, the bling is back, baby! Oh yeah! So, without further ado, let's get cracking, ladies and gents! Okay, ladies and gents, so what I'm going to show you as soon as I pick up the models that I've knocked over. My desk is reaching critical mass again. Might be time for a tidy up. Um, okay, so we're going to look at some of the old school Necrons. Now, the old school Necrons, some of you might not even remember these. Some of you might have missed these because they weren't out for an awful long period of time. Maybe a couple of years and that was it. But anyway, when these Necrons came out, they were only available in blister packs. Also, there was no official rules for them. This is way before Codex Necrons was out. And there was a chapter approved, I think, in uh, in a White Dwarf, and that's what Games Workshop, how they justified making models for them. And in truth, the models are absolutely awful. Uh, in fact, there was one, two, three, four, there was five, I've just been counting on my shelf then, there was five models in the entire range, I'm led to believe, um, in terms of units. Uh, the first, so this, this at the time, was the entire... Necron Codex, while well, the chapter approved. Uh, okay, we're going to look at the HQ first. This is the old school Necron Lord. As you can see, they were going for a very much Egyptian theme with these. Um, by the way, these models weren't painted by me, nor were they assembled. One of my friends gave me these because he knew that I was into it and he was just, gather it was just gathering uh, dust on his shelf and they're taking up space in his room. So let's have a look at this guy. As you can see, as I said before, very Egyptian feel with the collar. And the uh, the head the head helmet headdress kind of thing with the little bits going down the side there, staff of light. Um, th I mean, I, I just not a fan. This, it's the legs that get me. The legs really really wind me up because they look very similar to Dark Titans. Uh, the pictures of Necrons in Dark Titan Dark Titan Zero One in his video uh, attached to the old school week um, announcement. So guys, go check that out. I might put a link in the doobly doo in case you've not seen it already. But the legs are exactly the same as the old old school plastic Necrons from like the Space Crusade boxes. Even though they weren't Necrons, they were Chaos Robots or something like that. Um, the one thing that I do like on this is the cape, because the cape appears to be made up of links, which is pretty cool, and I quite like that. I also quite like this collar thing around here. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Great Jojo Man isn't feeling too well today. However, I will still try and deliver this with as much energy and enthusiasm as I give normally. Uh, so yeah, there's, I mean, there's quite a lot of detail on this. I mean, you've got a lot of detailing down here. There's a lot of detailing on his staff, even though his staff is quite bent. Yeah, so that's the uh, the Necron HQ. The troops choices for your Necrons. That's my cousin's dog barking in the background. The troop choice for the Necrons were these guys. <laughs> these horrendously sculpted Necron warriors. Oh, bear in mind, these are all blister packs. And you've got, I think it was two. Back in the day, it was two for four pound or two for five pound or something. So you needed a lot to get an effective army. But the rules were dirty for them in chapter approved. Because I used to use them. And uh, yeah, it used to be like you, you, you didn't even need a psychic test to teleport stuff or anything like that. It was pretty dirty. So yeah, as you can see there, pretty grim looking. Um, none of this clear green transparent plastic which makes all the gorse weapons look really nice on the new stuff. I mean, just very weirdly sculpted. I mean, I, I did kind of like all these tubes and stuff and the metal rib cages were pretty cool. But they're just massive. 
Uh, I mean, I don't think I've got... Actually, I might have a regular Necron to, uh, to compare. Oh, shit. Well, what I was trying to say before I, uh, I destroyed my camera and dropped, um, dropped it and narrowly caught it. I was going to say I had a, Necron, a new Necron Warrior to compare, but I actually don't. I can't find them offhand. And so, yeah, that's the, uh, the old Necron Warriors. Then you had the heavy support choices for them, and they were the Immortals. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Here's the Immortals. Here's what they look like. Oh dear. Oh dear. What? Just what is it? What is it? Head look a bit better. Bigger shoulders. They still have the same save. Back in the day. Got the little tabard thing or the little loincloth thing that the Necron Lord has. But as you can see, not the greatest model ever sculpted by GW. So, that one. Then, for fast attack choice, you had Scarabs. Now, I will just demonstrate by showing you this is a new Scarab. Small, Scarab-like, and quite nice. I like the edges, I like the angles on it. And here is one of the old Scarabs. Oh, God, what is it? Massive. I mean, you could fit... Probably one, two, three. You could fit four of these little things, little scarabs, inside this old one. I mean, what's going on? What is going on? Look at it. I mean, I, I don't actually quite like these, but you, I think again, I think you got like five of these in a, in a blister pack for four pound. Look at his little evil face. Look at his little evil face. Look quite cartoony actually, like a Pokemon. Go scarab, fly away. Okay, that's enough of that. Now, finally, they had. The destroyers. Now these, I think these, these were even fast attack. And I think these were fast attack choices back in chapter approved, rather than heavy support like they are now. Although correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't play Necrons. Okay, I gotta say I think this is the the most poorest model out of them all. It's ridiculous. Look at the state of this. Look at the state of this. I mean, now you have the Necrons that actually attached to the to the to the base. You know, they're actually like fused. They're incorporated into it. This is like, yep. Okay, we'll have a skimmer base which looks really tacky. And hey, let's stick the Necron in a chair with a little joystick. And a gorse cannon, or whatever it was. A destroyer cannon, I can't remember. But look at look at the little engines as well, they're just stupid. He's kind of just sitting there like like playing a video game or something like that, like Wee! Um yeah. Not the uh the greatest <laughs> uh sculpt ever. Comes in uh, the parts for this actually. The the rest of it, right, okay. Necron Lord Staff of Light comes separate, his head comes separate. Necron Warrior, nothing separate. Scarab, nothing separate, all one piece. Immortal, the arms, the arms and the gorse, whatever this big gun is here, that came separate. This, separate bits include the actual base of the hovercraft flying vehicle thing, um, the actual pilot seat, which would be this bit here, as well as the engines. The Necron inside it was separate, I think, and this Gorse Cannon. So, quite a lot of bits. I think it was like eight quid for one of these. I wouldn't pay eight quid for that sculpt. That's horrendous. Although, I, I did in the time. No, I didn't. I lie. I don't know. My mind, it is confused. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, on with some new stuff, well, new slash old stuff, I've started to redo those long fangs. Um, that I was on about in the other video. Put the new rockets on them. Focus. There we go. So we got the new rocket launchers on these guys. Couldn't find the actual right hand, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have like an all specs in that hand. And then there's another guy. This guy here. He's just going to have his hand just down the side like he's resting his weapon. Uh, and there's this guy here. The Mr. No Neck. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I apologise for being sick. Um, where's his arm? Oh, his, his arm's gone for a burn, but he's going to be holding um, the uh, the rockets and stuff like that. But yeah, not look. Don't look actually that bad once the arms are on. Especially on this guy. This guy's probably a prime example of that. Focus. My camera's struggling, struggling to autofocus today. And the waist looks a bit thin. But other than that, not really that much difference. Quite nice. Quite nice. They're going to look good when blended into the rest of my army. Now, guys, I promised you before some new stuff. Well, it just so happens I had another commission. 
and the commission is from Brother Tears again, and he wanted me to do an Iron Lord's commission originally. However, um, he then changed his mind. He said he wanted to do his own uh, Blood Angels successor chapter. So, I came up with this guy here. Now, I'm quite chuffed for this guy for the fact that he's mostly magnetized. First of all, I'm aware that the <coughs> the resin base uh, it gives me a bit of a height disadvantage, you know, for true line of sight nowadays. So, I have magnetized him to the base, magnetized the resin base to the base, and magnetized the guy to the base itself, which is pretty cool. Let's put him, actually let's just take the, put the bases away for now. Look at the actual mini. As you can see, or not, ah, now you can, uh, drilled two holes into the feet using my trusty new Dremel that I got for Christmas. Oh yes, hear the power. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm quite conscious on the time right now. Uh, I went for like a pre heresy look, and guess what? His arms are magnetized as well. So, okay, weapon number one is like a big ass sword. I'm possibly going to change this. This is like a prototype, really. Might change this a quill a bit here, or make the blade bigger, one or the other. Um, got a bit of a uh, custom thunder hammer going on here, which I quite like. Uh, might sculpt some, well, not a sculpt, might glue some wings to the side of it and make it more a bit, a bit more blood angelsy but quite chuffed with that. As you can tell, it's slightly uh, shorter than your average uh, Thunder Hammer. I can't find one. Why couldn't I? All right, I set things up so I can film with them, and I can never find them when I need them to hand. But yeah, slightly shorter than a regular Thunder Hammer, because I quite like the short look on Thunder Hammers. It looks cool. It looks a bit more portable, a bit more, you know, close combating. Big sort of spike. You know, imagine getting that in your eye. <laughs> oh, God! Like that. Um, so yeah, custom thunder hammer. I've also made this mad weapon here. This is pretty cool. I wanted uh, a power fist. Well, I wanted something that I could use as a power fist, a lightning claw, uh, and a chain fist. Oh, and a power sword as well if I wanted to. So I came up with this. Ah! Now, if anyone's ever seen Transformers, which I'm sure most of you guys will, Optimus Prime has, the, has these mad-looking glaive kind of blades that come out of his wrists, and that's what I tried to emulate here. There's like a couple of purity seals over here to hide the edge. Uh, shaved his knuckles off, added some chunky knuckles because I was going for a pre heresy look, as you can tell. Where is it? With the uh, the shoulder pads here. Um, just the fact that it looks a bit. It looks. I mean, I don't know. It just looks a bit old when you've got lots of rivets and big chunky things like, like that. Also, we've got some honor studs. I mean, these are either going to be honor studs or just studs around the edge. I think they're probably going to be honor studs in the end. Okay, let's actually look at the main guy. We've got uh, some green, a green stuff robe going on down here. I actually got inspiration from this from the Space Marine uh, Librarian and Terminator model. Um, I'll show you that guys that next week because he's awesome. Um, so yeah. Uh, purity sneals everywhere because uh, mine and Brother Tears' uh, impression of these guys was that they're of a, of a very royal lineage uh, and lots of um, purity seals <clears throat> and lots of honour markings and just a very, very royal appearance to them. Uh, so he's got like uh, this robe here, a bit of rope going around to keep it on. I'm going to disguise this for something, maybe some more purity seals. It actually extends all the way down there. Got this mass of purity seals here, which I really like the way they flow. That purity seal is from the um, Venerable Dreadnought, not the Venerable Dreadnought, from the Ironclad. Uh, obviously, it extends all the way round to the back. And again, the folds in that were done using these rubber sculpting brush thingamajiggers that Van Hammer uses, and they are a godsend. Again, I'll say that. Uh, in terms of his head, let's just pop him back on that resin base. Snap! Um, his head, I'm going for an unhelmeted look, but I'm also giving him an option. Aha, here we go. Giving him an option of having like a very pre heresy looking helmet. And the pre heresy looking helmet is like this. Very, very, from a camera focus, grey knight ish. All this is is a regular Terminator head with the edges shaved off and some holes. Gonna add some more holes down the other side. But as you can see, let's just pop him in there. Oh, he's not staying. So he's going to have that. He's then going to have this beast of a custom weapon. He's then going to have his thunder hammer. I'm also working on a storm shield. Oh, his head's gone. He's lost his head. And I've lost a head on the floor. And I don't know where it's gone. Right. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Panic over, panic over. Good, because it took me ages to fucking do that. All right. 
Let's whack his head back in. I'm probably going to have to blue tack this at the end. And I'm conscious that I'm running out of time. Lots and lots. Uh, so, yeah. So, it's going to look like that in the end. I think it looks pretty badass, to be fair. Looks pretty mean. Let's just pop his head out and put his head back in his little tray. And um, the shoulder pads, by the way, if any of you guys are wondering, are just off the are the ironclad uh, leg armor, and I just think they look really nice as like a pre heresy kind of armor. I chose that as well because now that that's there, I don't have to faff about getting loads of shoulder pads for him, and I can just literally just pop more in. And it looks cool because you can see the workings and all the servos and stuff down there. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, <coughs> <coughs> um yeah, I will. Uh, See you all next week. By the way, oh dear, I just crushed that nearly. By the way, keep making video responses to the announcement before. I'd love to see some more old school stuff. You see my old school Necrons today. I might have something else that's old school for you next week as well. Because old school week is continuing next week as well. As the date in the announcement describes. So anyway guys, I'm going to go. See you guys. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.